Okay, I'm actually back because this puzzle changed. So I need uh, to show you the new p uh, path. So <laughs> here's something funny. In our version, or English version, so to speak, they changed the characters on the ground to kind of help you out. Um, now, it's X's and pluses, right? And I think I said that the X's can sometimes lead to your death. So, I think in this one we just want to do this, maybe? No. No, it just immobilizes them like it's supposed to. Okay. This one then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's what I thought it was. Okay, so um, um, it's probably just a better idea that I just keep you guys in here because I do not know that puzzle changed each time. And hey, since we didn't forget anything, we have to watch that damn cutscene again. But, hey, at least since we haven't forgotten anything, we don't have to go all the way back and get it. I mean, truthfully, I, I do want to just cut out the damn cutscene because it pisses me off, but there's no way to do that. Four years ago, his parents were killed at war. Princess Yuki found him crying alone and brought him to the castle. I see. And I the fact that you can't skip it kind of bothers me, but what are you going to do? Brother. But so he stole his way into the castle to save Princess Yuki. Why then? I have probably heard this him? line Something seems the to first time on. I played this game at least thirty times. What? <laughs> now that's kind of half oh. bullshit, half true, because there was a f ton of times yes. that I had to go through this. What's that thing on the wall there? Is that important? No, it's not. Just wondering. And as far as I know, there's no secrets in these rooms, so... Except for, like, the treasures that you need to get. Forgot that if you do, uh... Talk to, um... The characters as they're holding on to the lever, they will actually have some, like, funny dialogue to say. I think. Yeah, hold this lever down here. Please go ahead. <laughs> and then uh, Sam and Nosuke will say something similar. Like, I'll just continue holding this while you go ahead, basically. No, wait, is it the one? It's this one. Yep, I was right. I did it wrong last time. That's why I was like, hold on. This time I'm not going to bother equipping it, because there's no point. So that's what it is. It's just you can't hit the opposite of whatever it is that your other character hits, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Shouldn't be too big of a problem. Let's see if it's similar to the last one. Oh yeah, and the best way to just light up this room I found out is just hit triangle so you can come into the room. I wonder if that's like a rendering issue. The whole thing with, um, you know, the uh, screen pausing whenever you're, uh, whenever you fire up the candles. I wonder if that's like a rendering issue. That's kind of neat. They have to pause it for a second. So yeah, they said that stepping on the X's is not a problem. It's just that if you don't step on another X, you could have an issue. I got lucky last time that when he's when she stepped on an X, when it was the only thing that she st could step on, that he didn't die. Okay, so... Something tells me I want to step on this. Then I want to step on this one. That was still there when she stepped on this one, right? So, I just kind of want to step on it again. Okay. 
There you go. Okay. Huh? Ah! What happened? Are you all right? I seem to be trapped. I seem to be trapped. I love that line too. Now, I forget that there actually is an easy way to do this puzzle. You know how I was trying to get it to where the crest is in the middle? You don't have to do that. There's actually an easier way. Okay, so... Um... Do that. Um... That's not going to help me at all. Reset. Um. Actually, that doesn't help me either. Solution, shift the four pieces to the middle center level, shift them piece by piece, shift all four pieces to the left and swap place with the left crest. Fuck, shut up Skype, I don't have time for you. You know what's funny is this game apparently came out on the PC too. And something tells me it'd probably be a lot easier on that. Cause then you can just select what you want, you know? So you do have to put it there. Okay, good. <sighs> okay, that's stressful as fuck. But we did it. It's funny there's a door there now. Are you alright, Sam? Okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, I get it. So that's the door we came through before.
pull tab on the wall, where you pull it. I actually don't remember. Problematic. It doesn't actually say here. Okay, never mind. We are oh, safe now. I will go search for clues. Fine. I don't think there was anything stuck under where that ladder is, anyway. Yeah, okay, there's not. Alright. So we come up here. I don't think there's anything hidden up here. Oh yeah, this door is locked, but we can go ahead and put one of our crests in there that we have. Looks like you need to fit something here. Sato, Sato clan is set. Alright, um... So now we got the Shinobi kit. This kit can help ninjas to unlock doors or disarm traps. It's actually technically not in our con uh, possession. Um, since we had, um... Kaede with us, I think is her name right? Uh, that's actually hers. So, what's funny is it'll show you what her equipment, like, what she has with her and your stuff. So it's kind of funny, as if you're both carrying it, even though you're not. Anyway, let's go ahead and equip the holy armor, since we are doing well. Now, I'm pretty sure... Is there supposed to be something hidden here? Oh, one second, how do you? That's how you do it, okay. <laughs> I forgot all about that move. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to follow the... You can reach a lower level with this ladder. But I'm not going to yet, I'm gonna explore. I honestly can't remember. It looks like a door. Huh? Apparently not. Ah, power jewel. I do recommend you use them right away. There's no reason not to. I think my uh, vitality is close to the same level it was before. Hmm. That's apparently all that's down here. Okay. Ha! I found something that uh, they didn't know about. Ha <laughs> ha! So that's why I like exploring. If you just follow the um, guide word for word, you're gonna miss stuff. Left crest piece. Looks like expensive pots and scrolls. I just wonder if there's something else in this room. Hmm, apparently not.
Hmm. Okay. It's really not what I meant to do, but cool. Don't open this again, you know the crest to open it. I love that. <laughs> Key is unlocked. Help! Give me Maru! Samanosuke! We meet again. So, have you decided to serve the Odar clan? Move! Move! <laughs> it is too late for the boy. And since you have learned that our Lord Nobunaga will rule the world with the demons, you should not bark up the wrong tree. You're insane! What you are doing will lead to innocent people being used as food for the demons. The strong will prey upon the weak. Farmers obey samurai, and humans obey demons. You arrogant fool! Our dark ceremony will take place soon. Princess Yuki's skull will be filled with her own blood. And when our Lord Nobunaga drinks it, the victory of the Oda clan over the Saito clan will be guaranteed! Ah! See you again, Samanosuke! <laughs> yeah, that guy's a bastard and really gets on your nerves. But, you know, what are you gonna do? Two folding screens, they wanna help. Wait a minute, that looks important. This here? Clan of has granted a grudge. Okay. Probably the clan of ogres, if I had to guess. And there's a floor right here. <laughs> that just seemed way too obvious right there to not be something like that, so that's why I checked it. Suzaku. The Gauntlet of Ogres, created to defeat the demons. There you go. That's what we need probably for that one code, so. The fact that I didn't take damage there is fucking amazing because I just forgot all about that. Yeah, you can cut through the partition yourself, that's kind of funny. More normal arrows? Okay. Um, I believe there is a save point coming up soon, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh yes, there's definitely one coming up soon. Yeah, the whole time you're out here, you're gonna hear that boy. So, yeah, don't... Don't be too surprised. Ah, and there's our next, uh... Thing. I, th I think it's this door he's in right here, over here. If I'm not mistaken. everywhere. Ah, medicine. That'll be very useful for what's coming up. Ogres that has granted this brave and strong man a grudge.
He also has a grudge. That's what it's meant to say before, apparently. So, yeah, there you go. Trying to remember which one, which weapon I want to use for this. Because <sighs> we are coming on another battle here. One I don't particularly enjoy. Mm -hmm. Do I want to make another medicine or do I want to save that? The bow doesn't help you at all during this fight. I think I need this for later anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. Oh, by the way, the highest level of your weapons, I believe, is... I want to say three, which is kind of weird, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, if I remember right. So anyway, I think I want to go ahead and equip this, because I think you want something quick to attack. It's coming up. Oh, yeah, might want to save again after enhancing. I forget that you should probably enhance first if you want to keep your save count down. You actually want to, you know, enhance first, then save. There's a ladder. Yeah, let's go up. I hate this boss. There's no joke about this. This boss sucks. And you see that he has a gauntlet, apparently, too. gonna take this seriously and use the herb because good thing to do. Ah, that move. That's why I hate this fight. I think I can survive one more hit. Waste of medicine. Medicine almost always heals you fully, so uh, that's why it's best to save it till you're nearly done. Ugh! Fucking hate having to use it though. Shit, get up. I also like how the rope starts falling apart a little bit.
eventually he will throw away his shield and that's when you really should like there we go, the guy just got rid of it. And that's when this fight gets a little bit actually easier. That's like the first time I actually defeated him on my first try. I have never actually won that fight on my first try. That fight sucks. There you go. And then you get your little wind gem here. Wind orb. And say hello to my favorite weapon in the game. I love this thing. I didn't love it at first when I first played the game, but I do now because it's actually a really cool weapon. Like, look at this. See how you just like freaking like combo the shit out of things? But there's a problem. Although it is a speedy weapon, it's also the weakest. Even on its highest level, it still will take a lot of hits to kill one thing with it. So keep that in mind. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wow. I don't know if you guys care, but apparently, um, well, I guess you are, because some of you probably have watched my Metal Gear Solid Let's Plays. Apparently, Metal Gear Solid Five won an award at this video game, um, what do you call it? Um, award show, yeah. Basically, they won an award. And then, apparently, they said Hideo Kojima wasn't there. And they asked him why, and they said it's because the lawyers wouldn't let him show up. And I'm like, wow. But yeah, that's just like crazy stuff. So anyway, like I said, so here's the swords and power level, basically. This one's the most balanced, this one's the strongest but slowest, and this is the fastest but weakest. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the Arashi is my favorite weapon because I feel like it's a lot easier to deal punishment to enemies quickly that way they can't hit you first, you know, because if you hit them first with this, then, hey, you're not going to take any damage. But, of course, um, at the same time, it doesn't stun enemies as much as, say, these two weapons. It takes more hits to stun an enemy with this than with these weapons. So, yeah, you got to be careful with that as well. And man, that didn't actually take that long, if I've got this right. It actually took only about like eight or nine minutes to defeat that boss. And since I've gotten so much better at, well, okay, not a hundred percent, but I've gotten better at dodging, um, that did actually work out really well. I mean, yeah, we had to use our last herb and use one of our medicines, but hey, it worked out just fine. Usually I have to use up all of my freaking medicines just to get through that fight, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode, and um, I'll see you in the next one. Till then, everyone. Bye.